All right, Aries, welcome to your reading for December bonus. It is your love reading. Um, as I was shuffling, the shadow came out. So we are going to keep this on the side for you. Okay, um, here. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. We are going to get more into your person's feelings in this reading, uh, the situation you and your person, what you don't see coming in the potential future. We'll pull the lovers of oracles um, to see what the connection, to get a better idea of the connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out some cards for you. One more shuffle, please, for Aries. All right, let's see. We have metamorphosis. I can't say that word. Okay. The Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. I feel like there's the reason why the shadow came out was for a big reason. Ooh, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in reverse right next to that shadow with the five of cups and you have you kind of leaning down a little bit here with the queen of wands in reverse that's your energy fire sign uh okay again keep in mind this reading may not resonate with all of you so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind you have ten of swords coming in we have you coming in as the Eight of Cups energy. We have the Hangman in your persons, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Okay. Ooh, there. The Devil in the Shadow. Okay. The High Priestess energy. The World. What you don't see coming in death. Very strong message here for Aries. We have the Ten of uh, Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands with the queen of wands all right aries this person is emotionally manipulative right off the bat they're operating from their shadow side they could have left you out in the cold made you very sad this devil brings in sadness it brings in manipulation um trickery this is an energy that could have addictions or obsession issues or some control issues here. The devil isn't a good energy to have and this is exactly where this person is operating. They could be trying to emotionally manipulate the whole situation. This could be a narcissistic type of behavior. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands with this Ace of Cups energy. You could have dealt with a player-like energy here. Also, someone who was very wishy-washy could have put the brakes on them. Could have been a third party situation for some of you guys, but I do feel like this is a very immature energy, something that was about to take off. Um, but I feel like you saw right through this. You saw because something here with the devil, with this energy, they have horrible communication skills. They have an agenda. Okay, I feel like you are emotionally detaching yourself. Yes, it could be hard, especially if there was some history or you know a strong emotion here, but there's also a lot of unfulfillment. It's like no longer wanting to take action towards a situation with the Ace of Wands. There is an awakening that is happening. There's change here as you are having more self-awareness about who this person is. The clarity is that this person is not operating from a pure heart. Okay, they are not at your level of purity or honesty. These are deceitful types of energies that come in and act. I'm sure at one point they were like the kind and sweet and generous and calm and confident, acted very comforting and caring and loving towards you. But then when something doesn't go their way or, you know, you, they get caught in something, uh, maybe cheating or not being honest are being confronted they turn in or the shadow aspect of themselves who they really are they haven't worked on it okay so i do feel like you are emotionally detaching yourself from the devil the hangman is here to show that there's a new fount of wisdom here there's um surrendering here but i feel like there's processing a lot of processing this information as you're gaining more clarity and working within because the ten of swords ten of wands is pushing through and keep going it was very painful for possibly what this person has done to you or how they spoke to you or how they treated you but i feel hey man is here to surrender okay um letting go of this person things are stagnant in their position 
The two of pentacles, again, is could be juggling two people. This could be emotionally overwhelmed or actually feeling an indecision as we have the nine of swords here. But again, they're coming up as the devil. So anything they say, do, they're operating from this energy. They could be keeping in a lot of secrets from you with this high priestess, not listening to their intuition. Maybe they're not as spiritual as you, Aries. And what you don't see coming due to this inconsistency, this type of energy, is emotional manipulator. That's all I gotta say. But you can see this really, really quickly. You know, like, whoa, where'd that come from? Why am I feeling this way? Nobody should be making me feel this way. I didn't do anything wrong, right? But they'll make it seem like you're doing something wrong. What you don't see coming is the world and then the outcome is showing death, so endings, okay? It's not an easy situation, I feel. Um, either for this person or you, but I feel like any type of regret they're having, they're shadowing it with their devil side of them. This could be the ego. So if they're not really showing any emotion here or really trying to get you back, that is because they're shadowing their feelings with ego, with everything the devil comes with. You probably went really cold or even said some words back to them because you're like, I don't deserve that crap. Yeah, the 10 of wands. Yeah, this is pushing through, but you're still doing it. Nothing's gonna hold you back, okay? This is the end of a cycle. It's very painful, but it's, a, it's heavy, but there's an opportunity to release. And that's why I feel the only way to release this person is to set yourself free. Let's get this hangman. Separation, an unbalance, a choice between love, judgment. Mm, there is an awakening here, but this person could have a new change of perspective, maybe another trick up their sleeve for Aries. Because the judgment is all about second chances, okay? They bring a lot of disharmony here. You could have had a lot of history with this person for some of you guys. Let's get the two of pentacles. Yeah, a separation. Newly single for a lot of you. Nine of swords. Whoa. Victory. The devil. The devil wants victory with you. The devil wants their power back. And the more, if you leave, you take your power with you. They feel powerless now. So they either want victory for all the wrong reasons. They could be wanting attention or trying to get your attention, but they're using the double energy to get it. Let's get that double. Yeah, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, with the double again. They could be rushing in or trying to rush in, or this could be impulsive energy doing things without thinking. So there's some strategy behind this Knight of Swords, but I feel like this could be somebody either rushing in, saying hurtful things, or doing things impulsively to you, okay, when communicating. Um, let's do this High Priestess. There's that King of Cups. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Strong, strong water coming in. You know, I feel like you are closing out this chapter for sure because the world and the death is here, which means closing it out, ending. A lot of pain. This person could have treated you very, very uh, terrible. Things are going stagnant as you're surrendering. You're needing a lot of strength here to close out this chapter, okay? But you have the strength. There could be a little bit of self-doubt or fear of the unknown, um, but there's could be some trauma that is involved in here too. I do feel like the hangman is more stating that you're surrendering this person, you're making a choice, the world is closing in your favor, and it's to release, to set yourself free from this person. He, they might not go easy though. There's something here that has to do with either court or some contracts, but there's celebration after. It's either like a celebration after an ending. I know what I'm feeling here. You're getting what you deserve. This is karmic justice. So everything that, everything's coming into balance for you. This is beautiful. This is all about karmic truth, balance, fairness, integrity um, here. So then we have the three of cups, it's all about happiness and compassion. Um, so I feel like this release of this huge cycle is really bringing some freedom into your life here, okay? And you're very highly intuitive. Let's get the hidden truth messages from your person. I can be myself with you. 
I'm waiting patiently. That's what that stagnant feeling is. I want you badly. Oh, I still have feelings for you. Yeah, they're wanting to rush in, but you're over here cutting them off, ending it. Yeah, the devil wants victory. They want some power here, but I feel like you see what they're about. Let's get the romantic love oracles, Aries, and see what is coming in for you. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings to each other. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This could be the one. Make the effort true love. Okay, something could be coming into your life. Um... I feel like it has to do with this three of cups energy, but it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to. This is the romance of a lifetime. So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. And then we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of com uh, commitment. So maybe your next relationship or someone you're talking to be the person that you've been waiting for. Okay. Wow. I love this. This is you now, like having fun with your life, feeling set, like setting yourself free from something. Everything is getting messy. Sorry, Aries. Let's get the romantic oracles. And the reading, whoa, new beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. And then we have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it'll all work out. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you. If you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for January 2022. God bless.